brought in the union. They bring in health care, they bring in pension, they bring in benefits to our people. I believe that was the right move. I'm Ed Hensley, construction market representative for National Lesset. This is a story about the Assiniboine and Sioux tribes of Fort Peck, Montana. What brought us together is a $200 million water treatment and distribution project that tribes desperately needed, a perfect partnership. Stoney Ancotel, tribal council member. The water project is called the MRNI, which is an acronym for Municipal, Rural, and Industrial Water Supply. Here in northeastern Montana, we have, um, we have experienced some real water contamination due to oil field activity back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. We have uh, saltwater disposal wells that have been uh, uh, taking in saltwater, ancient seawater that comes up with the oil for uh, 50 years. And they, uh, the federal government under the USGS allowed the permitting and the Bureau of Indian Affairs uh, approved the saltwater disposal permits uh, into the Judith River water formation. Well, what this did was, is uh, after all these years now, we have a huge plume of uh, contaminated water coming coming down towards Poplar, where our tribal headquarters are. Yeah, it's full of carcinogenics. It's full of uh, heavy metals. Uh, it should have been disposed far deeper than the Judith River formation. Donna Buckles lives in an area that is already affected by the contaminated water. Well, we moved in there in 1994, and we had excellent water, um, better than town and anywhere. And so we were so excited. Well, in one year, everything went to hell. I mean, we had the worst plume, or the plume was moving our direction, and it started in 1995, and we weren't able to raise a garden. We, we are not... I mean, we couldn't even drink the water after a year. It got so bad, and it's gotten worse since then. Kevin Buckles, Tribal Employment Rights Director. Well, the first major jobs are going to be building of the water treatment facility, which is located about eight miles north of us here. And there's going to be a lot of concrete work. Uh, tremendous. We got, according to the specifications, we're going to have two 1,000-yard pours in a day. So that's 100 trucks. We're going to have we're going to have concrete. We're going to be doing 24-hour pours. We need people who can finish that concrete, work that concrete. As you can see, this is a tremendous project, needing the laborers' workforce development expertise. I approached Mano Fry, regional manager and vice president, to go ahead with the project. Well, it's a marvelous opportunity for the laborers' union to be able to help the Assiniboi Sioux and the Fort Peck Reservation tribal members. We're able to provide training to their members. They have a marvelous wealth of opportunity for resource development here on, on the reservation. But unfortunately, for the tribal members, in order to have work opportunities, they've never been able to get into training programs. John Morales, tribal chairman. Uh, we're out in uh, uh, one of the last frontiers in northeastern Montana. And uh, the gentlemen out of the Seattle office and out of the Montana office, Laborers Union, have been out here and, and the training. They've already given, uh, we've already built some handicap ramps for our elderly and, and, um, and the handicap. And uh, that has made a huge difference in our community. Also training our tribal members, giving them the opportunity to... Uh, uh, participate in that training and get the, that skill level and that's what they want so I'm, I'm we're very happy with that. To get started we brought four tribal members to Great Falls Montana for training. After that we brought in the Wyoming mobile training unit to the reservation to train an additional 30 tribal members for concrete placement. I think it's great because I've seen a lot of people uh, that know how to do this uh, stuff but um, really don't have the opportunity, you know, and um, it, it opens up so many doors for so many people, you know, especially the young guys that are taking the courses. They're getting a lot out of it, and I see them uh, participating in these training uh, programs, you know, and it's really exciting. You know? Well, before it all started out, I wanted to step in uh, my grandpa's footsteps, and first thing he did was uh, lay concrete, so I thought, you know, getting concrete would be the thing to do. I have 168 certified flaggers. 
for road construction and I'm, in a good year I'm lucky to put 10 to work maybe so we're not we got enough laggers concrete hands I don't have enough uh, I don't have enough equipment operators just to name a few what we're doing is we're, we're, we're attacking uh, the training needs that are going to be hitting our job market soon and getting aggressive on putting people uh, with real skills to work immediately Labor's Employers Cooperation and Education Trust is in the business of putting together partnerships between owners, construction users, and the laborers' union. We've formed a partnership with the tribe, and it's certainly a win for the tribe to be able to get their tribal members trained and working, part of the cash economy in this part of Montana. And for us, it's an opportunity for us to grow our membership. For the laborers, there's just a wealth of construction going on uh, and within Montana itself we need trained construction workers so for us we're able to grow our assets in the form of trained working members and it truly is a win-win situation. The Laborers Union is a great organization, um, good people, a uh, lot of fun um, but hard workers and and very determined when they have a goal I can see that uh, they're gonna they're gonna get after it until that goal is achieved and I like that uh, we have seen what the laborers union can offer us through training and they've been here and they've got a commitment here they've uh, spent dollars here in our community already and they haven't even begun their project so that's exciting to us so uh, we, uh, we look forward to working with the Laborers Union in the future. Lesson is now reaching out to other tribes, training tribal members and creating jobs, thus creating perfect partnerships. One of the groups that led our work up here was Ed Hensley and Pat Smuts, and they both work for a nonprofit that we sponsor called the Laborers Employers Cooperation and Education Trust. And it, it, cooperation is a key word in laborers and employers. We're not going to succeed if we try to strong arm the contractors and the employers we work with. We succeed where we can walk in, take care of battles together, holding hands and working cooperatively.